Right now we're in the Dresden Insignia Vault. Uh, in this vault we have about 60,000 individual artifacts. We have uh, quite a large room here and it's, it's pretty much full. The Dresden Insignia collection encompasses basically um, clothing, any equipment that's used or worn by a soldier, sailor or airman starting from the American Revolutionary War is our oldest artifact and we have artifacts right up until the present day uh, with service in Afghanistan. Basically when you're wearing a military uniform you're wearing your resume on your on your jacket um, depending on which units you were serving with at the time. Your metal ribbons would show where you've been and what you've done. Different qualification badges on different individuals so it's the, the word uniform is a bit uh, misleading in some cases. I'm often asked the question, what's your favorite artifact? And this is definitely my favorite just because it, it encompasses so many different stories. This is a hockey jersey from the 1948 Royal Canadian Air Force Flyers. And this was the team that represented Canada at the St. Moritz Olympics in 1948. This particular one was worn by a veteran of the Second World War named Hubert Brooks. And uh, in addition to being a, an Olympic hockey hero, he was also a bona fide war hero. He uh, served in the RCAF. He was shot down early on in the war, but he escaped his prisoner of war camp. He managed to get hit into Poland and worked for two years with the Polish underground. He then went on afterwards to, to go on and win an Olympic gold medal. Right here we have um, the First World War uniform of uh, Sir Arthur Curry, who was one of Canada's top generals in the First World War. The uniforms of, of the First World War were made with wool. Um, the benefits of using wool for uh, trench warfare is that even if it was wet, it still had the insulating properties that so kept you warm when it was wet. And it's also a self-extinguishing self fiber, so if it catches fire and you remove the source of the fire, then it, it goes out so it won't continue to burn collecting military uniforms. It's, it's another way of documenting our history, in particular our military history and the service that Canadians have provided um, within Canada and around the world. So I think it's very important.